Hello children, how are you? I hope you are all fine. Okay, let us discuss about the tables which are given, tables which are given your textbook, especially in this video, let us discuss about the chapter 2, ideas of development. So, in this lesson, in the page number 20, there is a table belongs to the comparison. So, you know that these tables are comes under the information skills, that is the third academic standard. So, it carries six marks in your final examination. It is very easy to get marks uh, if you apply your mind, if you understand these uh, tables. So, now let us take this table now. The comparison of two countries. Here, why we need to compare the different countries? Okay. Now, you see, how can you say one family is rich family, another family is a poor family? How can you say by observing their residence, where are they living, their home? Is it the building or it is it the heart? And uh, what type of clothes they are wearing? And uh, not only that, and how they are traveling, whether using the car or bicycle or by walk, so, not only that, another thing is that how much they are earning annual income, what is their annual income, 10 lakh or 1 lakh. So, based on all these criteria, you can come to conclusion that this family is a rich family, this family is a poor family. Okay. In the same way, how can you say one country is a developed country, another is the uh, rich country, one country is a rich country, another country is a poor country, a developed country, other developed country. There are majorly two criteria are there. Number one is the total income that is also called the national income that is also called the GDP. You know what is the GDP? Gross domestic product. So what is the gross domestic product? So it is the total value of goods and services produced in a particular year within the country that is called the GDP. So nothing but total income of the country. So by using how you compare you see, US $19 trillion annual GDP is there, Indian, uh, Indian GDP is only $3 trillion. By observing that, which country is rich? Yes, US is a rich country, India is comparatively poor country, or it is a, US is more developed, India is a less developed. Okay, this is one criteria. Another criteria is that average income. What is average income? It is called per cap income. So, what is the per cap income? It means per head. So, total income divided with the population of the country. That is called the per capita income, that is called average income. On an average, each individual, how much money they are getting, how much earning is called the per capita income. So, for example, US yes, has a 65,000 US dollars per annum, and Indians, average Indian is earning, Indians are earning only 2,000 dollars. By observing that, you can tell that yes, USA is a far ahead and uh, India is a far behind. So, Observe that which country is rich country, which country is poor country. Not only India, yes, you can compare with any many number of countries. Okay. Now, here is that. Uh, <clears throat> now, let us take to understand it is very clearly. Let us take one more example. For example, in your 10th class, only 50 students are there. Okay. So, now what I tell that, whatever the money you have in your pockets, hand it over and I collect the money from all of you. Okay. Then uh, I club together. Now let us assume it became the 500 rupees. Okay. So this is called your total your class income. In the same way, what is this? This is the national income also. You can. So another. Okay. Now this is the national income. It means the if you are, you are clubbing all people's money, that is called your class income. Okay. It means one person may have the 10 rupees, another may bring the 20 rupees, another may bring 100 rupees. Another may be 200 rupees, but on an average, total, what is the total money in your, the, uh, you have in your class is a rupees 500. So, this it, it can comparable to the national income. Another point is that uh, this is average income. What is that? So, now I take this 500 rupees, huh? then I divide, distribute equally among the these 50 children. So, on an average, each person is getting 10 rupees, but you know that. Many people may not, even this 500 rupees, one person give 10 rupees, another 20 rupees, but some people may zero also. Zero means, is there any zero rupee? Yes, zero is nothing. Some people, the students, 
they may not bring money to the class or they may not have the money zero rupees in that way but here we distribute all the money equally that is called per capita income i think now it is clear now let us come back to the this table so let us take two countries that is country a and that is a country b so each country has only five people are there how many people are there five people are there now what are the number one is a farmer let us take another one is a labor one another one is the industrialist another one is the cine player uh, cine actor another one is a cricket player okay cricket player so as a nation if we this if we club all these five members income that is called our net income okay here if you observe that uh, the the annual income income of the monthly income is varying from person to person but if you observe that uh, almost there is a there is no rich no poor no extra rich no uh, complete poverty is there so no extra poor, poor is there so it is uh, on an average the money is distributed somewhat equitable so if you observe that table 2 or the this country b you people many four members are earning only 500 500 each but one person like mukesh ambani is earning 48000 only one person is in case much much higher than the total population so this is the reason that uh, so this is equitable distribution is not there now if you are the if you get a choice to decide where you would like to live whether country a or country b yes you may feel that no i would like to stay in country a yes because average income is good but if you are intelligent enough what can you take uh, how you take the decision no no i would like to stay in country b why not as 1 2 3 4 but i would like to be the rich or super rich 48000 i will uh, earn so that is the so way okay so this is the gap between rich and poor okay now here why we need to take these two concept why we are uh, nation income is ever uh, i think it is over uh, to compare it is enough but it is also some uh, problem is there with the nation income that is that the population is increasing for example in a family five members are there in another family 10 members are there automatically the 10 member family the annual income increases okay because of population your income is increasing that is not good criteria okay so some uh, uh, problem is there with that so it means uh, if country has a 100 crores of population automatically their income increases but that is not good criteria so another that is the another reason we don't know another concept that is called the parity of income concept so in this per capita income how much money earning is not important how it is getting distributed how are the people are getting equal distribution are they getting the sufficient money so equitable distribution is very important so that is the reason so we take the per capita income to understand which country is developed country and which country is the developed country you see here problem is that uh, uh, is it good which one is good you may tell that yes a is good why b is not good for example let us take our human body only uh, hand is only growing and the length and breadth only nose is growing health and uh, length and breadth is it good all body parts should develop equally that is called human being uh, the body structure in the same way all people should get at least minimum income not the rich super rich so the income disparity should be reduced so that is the reason governments uh, take many steps like uh, social security schemes to uplift these poor families okay i think this is uh, sufficient to you now you can see what is the heading of this comparison of two countries you can say that uh, what is the which country is a good average income is distribution of income is very uh, needed so government should take some more steps in this way you can write your answer so you can get good marks okay thank you like share and subscribe